Hello and welcome to Sound and Melodies. In this particular episode, I'm going to show you how to deal with group track volume issue in uh, any Cubase project. For example, if I add track and create a group track to selected channels, add, then there's this line that appears. And accidentally, if there are more than one group tracks, which ultimately it will be because there are many, many instruments in this project. And then sometimes accidentally I go ahead and click like that and, and things move around like this. Then sometimes you, you can use the selection tool to select and click uh, and then delete. But now the volume label remains where it just accidentally went. Now that's negative 13.3. And if there are more tracks, more group tracks, the problem can be just time consuming because you just click somewhere and then you're gonna have to do undo, go back and again fix the volume. And not only that, if you have your group track volume set by yourself, for example, if you want to make negative 3.27 your value for your mix then accidentally it happens that sometimes you are just clicking somewhere else and uh, something changes and then everything is gone so if i do control z it happens and not every time i can do control z for example in case like this if i do that it just remains where it is now there's a solution to this problem and that is First, getting fixed of how much volume we want. We don't want any changes in this particular track. So what I'm going to do is, there's nothing else, but we're going to add something. Right click, uh, track control settings. So here we want to work on group effects or VCA track. And after clicking here, we can see hidden controls. And all of these things could be handy. I like to see the options that are available. So I add everything and apply. Now I can see there are some new things down there. So I click OK. And here is an option that says lock. Now the volume line will not be shown. And there is no issue for you to get worried on using drawing tool and then accidentally happening to change the volume of group tracks. And if you want to re-enable it, you can just click here and it comes back again. You make your changes you want in your mixer, in your project. And then once again, click lock. And that way we can lock everything that this track has there, including fader lock. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you learned something. And if you like this video, please click the like button and also subscribe. And we'll see you in next video.